welcome this is Gerson and this we are going to show you the new features of vSphere Update Manager prior to version do e vxphere 6.0 the update manager must be installed on only a windows machine the vicente server could be installed on the windows machine or as virtual appliance but update manager must be installed on a windows because this is database the database is a microsoft sql server or Oracle database. It could not use the center server uh, uh, appliance database. After the release uh, vSphere 6.5, it's also possible to use the Postgres database, which is come bundled with vSphere 6.5. So if you have the center 6.5 Windows, you got Update Manager Windows. If you got we set the server 6.5 appliance you got uh, update manager appliance here you must use for small deployments from 5 hosts and 50 VMs the embedded Microsoft SQL Server Express the prerequisites for this Microsoft SQL Server Express is very simple to meet if you don't have SQL servers on your Windows update manager machine you must it will install the SQL Server for you. One very important thing is this Windows version must be at least Windows Server 2008 and must be 64 bits to install. Here, when you install Update Manager, it adds a plugin to vSphere client. Even if you use Web Client for Update Manager, you must use the traditional vSphere client because you, you can here on this tab the update manager access okay here I'm going to show you a glimpse of this screen of the update manager inside the client this is the compliance view you are not going to show you into how uh, traditional client works because after the version 6.5 everything moves to web client or so here is the on the web client is the new icon which appears after the release of the uh, vSphere 6.0 update 1 so if you start here update 1 and later you're going to get this icon here okay and this is I'm going to show you is the web version of update manager only okay after version 6.5 the traditional client is not longer available you're not going to show you how to set up the center server or go to set up update manager and only show you this new web interface for update manager here is our center server here is the icon for update manager and the web client I'm going to click here we are going to show you the view of our entire vCenter server but you can apply update manager on a data center or on a cluster or on a host separately okay or you can go to the directly to the center to see all your environment here we are going to show you everything is below our vCenter server this is admin view we are going to compliance view later Okay. The first thing you're going to do, show you here in this manage tab is settings. The default settings are already very good for everything you, you must use, but you can of course fine tune here. This is network connectivity for the update manager. You can change the settings here. Okay. Another thing is here the four here are the hosts where you download from VMware the patches here you can change the, or add the proxy settings if you are behind the proxy you can import patches directly here if you need also this is download schedule for the internet is daily 
and we also can change it here this is a notification check that will check your host against the update manager database is by hour this is the VM settings it means you take a snapshot of every VM before you apply any patches is the full you also can change here okay and this is the host close settings this is very important because if you have higher viability you're not going to be able to apply any patches because higher viability will prevent the machines to shut down reboot and some patches needs to host to go to maintenance mode and reboot so after that we're going to show you how we're going to change higher viability settings specifically for that host and specifically for, for that moment okay here we also can see there are uh, another another type for the app settings you can after 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 change edit this here okay here in the host baseline we already have this three first one here there are buzzer lines in this buzzer line group that are the full they're already created for you but you can also add any buzzer line you wish here and any group you wish and this is the buzzer lines and groups for your top v center but you can have buzzer lines and groups specifically for the uh, cluster or the host and again buzzer line group you are have have the, those three defaults and you can add this uh, uh, buzzer lines for patches for the stations or for the piglades here as you need it okay VMs and appliances buzzer lines already have this three default you can create another here you can also create groups here okay in the patch repository you may see everything is already downloaded on your update manager database you can see specifically here it, uh, your vicente server will download only uh, against the host you have so if you have if you don't have any vSphere 5.0 it will not download anything you can also import separated the patches here directly if you need to download a specific patch for a VM or a specific vendor and apply it to your host you can import it the patch it here okay one very interesting thing here is is you can click a specific on the patch and then you can add this patch to the baseline clicking here you can open a baseline and import the patches or you can go to the patch and add it to a, base, a baseline this, this allows is very fine tune if you click here you can see all the details about that, that patch and that would be great you can see uh, names and codes and you can go check in the web what it's about okay it's very interesting in this feature here you can have very uh, control of everything after vSphere 6.0 you can also apply for full images if you download ESSI images from VMware or for a specific vendor, you can import those images here, here, download the ISO image to your computer, and then you upload this ISO image here and upgrade the manager. We will all automatically apply those updates to your hosts. This is very good in very large environments. This is the appliances upgrades you are having have downloaded in your environment if you have very large environments interesting feature here is that is if you if you accept the EULA here you don't need to accept the EULA individually in every single one VM or VApp you have if you have very large environments this is this is save you a lot of uh, work to do you can see everything here in here are the log for uh, for how this appliance it and patch was used before here if you can hear in the patch baseline and click to add I want to show you a very interesting feature for the clicking add, add multiple holes here 
you can choose all vendors specifically for vim vmware or you can change both i'm going to change both and here you have all the appliance let's choose one here let's choose postgres if you have a machine specific host a specific machine that run must run a separated version of the appliance you can apply here and create a rule create a base line and you can apply a very specific version of that uh, app so you can very fine-tune and check what you need here okay if you, if you must use this or you can go to the latest or do not upgrade at all also according all you need okay next what you're going to do is go to compliance view that's it here at compliance view you are going to check your hosts against to the update my database here you choose the, the base name you can attach specific one for specific case for all of your base lines okay or you can leave the full which means everything okay if you click scan for upgrades you're not going to try to download anything from VMware repository you're going to scan your hosts and apps against the update manager database if your environment is very large you may take several minutes to scan everything here is completed is our full environment in here because it will be sent to server which we scan it but we also made this separate for data centers, clusters, and hosts, and on separated levels. Okay. One thing you're going to do after that, and then you see the result. You can see two non-compliant and one one known. I'm going to show you later what is one known. Then you're going to stage the patches. The stage the patches is only you only copy the upgrades to the hosts. Here you can choose all them, or you can choose a single one. You only copy and will not apply anything. Okay, so if you have a problem, copy. You may come here and solve it, the problem before you apply the patch. Okay, the final check and then finish. This may take a while open your environment and only after that we are going to use the remediate remediate will also copy here this is that unknown status is because we, we uh, shut down on purpose one of our hosts which which belongs to our center here is the host we are, are was uh, shut down on, purp on purpose so here it shows lost connector or it is already powered off which is this the case okay so we show you here as unknown and you have no compliance for that and other situations okay here this stage is, is the copy is okay and everything completed what they're going to do now is to click remediate remediate we are apply all the patches here you can again fine-tune what you're going to apply to your hosts okay let's click next here you can show specific hosts or all the hosts you're going to need you it's not a very good idea to apply for all your hosts because very often you have the center server and your update manager also run NVMs and some patches and some, some brigades needs to the host to be taken on maintenance mode and then reboot and if the update manager we sent to server are offline everything goes off so what are you going to do what you must do when you have the situation you apply the upgrades to one host 
then you move to a Vicente server or you update the server to that already updated host and from then you upgrade the other other hosts so your update manager is always online and we set the server house online here you're going to check how because this is our environment you are not going to finish this is what we are going to apply what you're going to apply is how many hosts what kind of products okay here is the schedule for this upgrade you can schedule for later but it's a very good idea to apply the upgrade here where you can watch over any any kind of problem this is host remediate options here you can change for what happened with the VMs on that host it's also a very good idea move off the VMs for the hosts okay when you apply the upgrade if you have PXA booted hosts after reboot you will lose all the upgrades so you are going to upgrade the, the image of those hosts if you try to make it, it uh, effective okay these are the high viability options for your cluster high viability will prevent you from applying your brigades because they power off from the virtual machines and maintenance mount from the host so here you can fine tune separated for hosts and disable the high viability features specific in that to brigade moment for that host and after the the host reboot came out from maintenance mode it will automatically enable again high viability mode it's a very interesting feature here so you have the, the our environment protected for high viability or fault tolerance and then you you, you you able to apply everything on your environment okay i hope you here you can change this is not our this is our environment so you're not going to apply anything so here you can choose separate to your host and then reboots your host according to your needed without disruption of your environment okay I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching this. I see you on the next video.